Okay, so this is the literary analysis paragraph rubric that I want you to use when writing your Tom Sawyer literary analysis paragraphs. It's really important to me that you read this entire part, this part, and really try to make your paragraph and your visual follow this basic pattern. The broad theme, narrow theme, one-two punch is basically the first third of your paragraph. It introduces your theme, your unifying theme, and narrows it down to a specific scene in Tom Sawyer. And this scene becomes your setup and smoking gun. The setup describes what is happening, the who, what, when, where, why in the book leading into your smoking gun, which is the actual quote from the book that you're going to use, the actual section of text. This is called, setup could also be called text reference. Smoking gun could be called text support. When you get to your head and heart, make sure that you're talking about the theme as it's being shown in your smoking gun. Don't talk about it in life in general. Stay focused on your smoking gun. When you get to the conclusion, make sure you wrap back around to your, your narrow thing, broad thing, narrow thing, one, two punch somehow to reiterate what you've already written about. Now, all these parts are important to me. And as you get, move on through life, I think you'll agree that it's a helpful rubric to a master. You've got your assignment details. You have your, your theme. It could be a single word or it could be a short phrase as Ryan did with an unlikely friendship. Your meaningful quote wants to be the quote, the section of text in the book that you're going to use in your smoking gun. You don't have to use the whole thing, but it sort of acts as a guide to make sure that you stay on target. Make sure that you, if it's a block, block quote that you have underneath there, um, for you it would be The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. This one's about Huck Finn. Okay, your broad theme wants to be short, brief, and pithy, never long. I always say nine words or less. I think Ryan has seven words here, eight words, I'm not quite sure. But nothing beats spending time with a good friend. Okay, friend is that sort of theme that's going to be reiterated throughout this paragraph. Your narrow theme has to mention Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Okay. And then it wants to specifically talk about the theme that you're going to be using. You see here he has in the book The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Huck and Jim go to be two inseparable friends. I put that in red so you can see that he's emphasizing the theme. And the one-two punch, you want to narrow it down even further. So you're just going to be talking about a specific part of the book. It makes writing your paragraph much easier. So you can see here. The two companions, another word for friends. All right. Then friends again. Now it leads into the setup, the text reference. Make sure you have the who, what, when, where, why reference from uh, Tom Sawyer that you're analyzing. Use specific images and actions to describe the scene. Brian has a great, great setup here. Kind of describes exactly what's happening leading in to this section of the book, this actual quote from the book here. Now, when you get to your head and heart, right, you really want to talk about the theme as it happens right here in this section of the book and in the text reference that you referenced before. Don't talk about the theme in life in general. Okay? Make sure that it's at least four sentences long. Longer is even better. The more you write here, the more impressive it is to a reader. But just don't make sure you don't say the same thing over and over again. You can see here, he's got friends and friends, okay? Person that would comfort him, good company, what a good friend does. All these things are excellent examples of hammering home the theme. And then when you get on or get out, <coughs> you sort of close out in a way that 
doesn't say restate the uh, broad theme, narrow theme, but it comes back to it and sort of tries to capture what you've said and what you've thought and what you analyzed in the book. And you see what I did here. Post pasted it all together. And here I put it in different colors so that I can see it. Nothing's be spinning down the good friend. All right? I put in bold everything that references the friends. Huck and Jim go to be two inseparable friends. It is the similar minds that bring them together as friends. He is happy that he now has a companion on the island. All these things help to unify the theme throughout your paragraph. You can see he does this all in his head and heart, too. So it's kind of a cool way to, to uh, make sure that you're covering all your bases. And that's really all I'm trying to get you to do right now, to sort of create a paragraph which is logical flow, and it has a unifying theme that runs throughout the literary analysis paragraph. Remember, it's not a narrative paragraph. You don't need to talk about yourself or your experiences. Just talk about the experiences of whomever you're writing about. And probably in your case, it'll probably be Tom, I hope. Right. So I hope this helps. Really go through each, each part of this rubric really carefully. Try to make your PDF or your pages document look just like this. And on Wednesday, we'll go through it even more fully in groups, group editing groups. Try to make all of your paragraphs be just about perfect. And then I'll be one of the happiest guys you have ever seen. All right. Go to it.